Hey everyone. Man, last night's episode of Robot Combat League was slamming. I mean, you talk about sparks flying and you got like uh, robot parts flying all over that arena. Wow, just going left and right and uppercut after uppercut. Uh, punch to the gut, punch to the face. Oh my god. What a show that was. Not to mention, who knew Amber and Dave would pull it off in like two rounds and then all of a sudden Steampunk comes back and wins another round until, wow. Wow. All of a sudden, poor Oregonians cheered all over Portland, Oregon because two people and a robot pulled it off in the end of round five and boy was it close. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners of Robot Combat League 2013 goes to Amber and Dave Shinsell. I just want to say to you both, congratulations. You finally won one for Portland, Oregon, and but most importantly, you won it for me because, well, when I first saw Team Crash, I was completely happy that you guys joined up. First, you beat Team Spinks, Team Cyclone. First, you beat Steel Cyclone. Then you beat Team Brimstone. And then you went up against Scorpio, and now look what happened. You finally beaten Team Steampunk. See, this is the reason why you guys always get respect. Because you guys are Oregonians. You guys have won $100,000. And to admit the truth, I was tweeting and hashtagging for you guys all over Twitter saying please don't give up D don't ever give up and look what happened you guys did not give up you went from worst place at number 12 to first place at number one when you guys won that championship for once I thought you guys were gonna lose but who knew good luck would come back for you I'm glad I'm actually living in Portland, Oregon, because you guys have gained ultimate respect as Robot Combat League champions. And last night I was cheering like hell when you guys won. My whole family was there watching it. I was watching it. This was like the greatest... Last night was practically the greatest night of my life because of you guys. I mean, if it weren't for you, there would be no Team Crash. There would be no Amber or Dave. There would be no Portland, Oregon. But look what happened. I mean, you guys have just proved to everyone that Oregonians always gain respect. And I'm not mad at you for that. I mean, you gotta give props for me cheering for you. I'm like your team mascot. The... Oh my gosh. Um, and I just want to say to you, Amber, Dave, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Winning one for Portland, Oregon. Winning one for me. Winning one for your friends, your family members, and of course, Crash. Amber, I've always been your good luck charm, and I just want to say, you complete me. Dave, I shake my hand out to you right now, for caring so much for your daughter, to make it all the way to the championships, and winning that title. So I extend my hand out to you and I say thank you.
and crash. You came, you saw, you conquered, you kicked some robo ass. <laughs> and I thought, and this is much more better than watching real feel bad movie. Or playing Rock'em Sock'em Robot. But boy, you did not give up out there. You gave it your 100%. You proved to everyone that you are invincible. I don't know why, but I think that steel cage around you is practically not, you're not, your one and only non-weakness. No robot could never get into that one. Not, not brimstone, not cyclone, not, not steampunk, not no one. So I just want to say from the bottom of my heart to the three of you guys, thank you so much. So in honor of you guys, I'm going to play, I'm going to tweet to you three songs, to you a couple of songs, in honor of our city, Portland, Oregon, and in honor of you. And of course, Shannon Sarage. I'm also sending you a song, too. My favorite bad girl in the house. So, this is me saying thank you. Ah, uh, this is such an emotional moment. No words can describe how this is. Okay. So, 